earlier is seen in formative piece about Royal Oak and the night's agenda before each meeting. Watch the live broadcast at 7.30 p.m. Mondays, and the taped replays can be seen at 7 p.m. Tuesdays, 1 a.m. Wednesday morning, and 1 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. Welcome back to Artist Spotlight. Now let's spend some time with Mr. Jack Sitt, an accomplished guitarist, one of Royal Oak's finest. with the guitar, Mike, is I look at it as a friend. It has never let me down. It is always showing me something new and different. I try to approach the guitar in a different way than most people do. For instance, there are six strings on the guitar. I view the three bass strings as masculine voices and the three treble strings as feminine voices. Therefore, I try to make the instrument sing out as much as I can so that both male and female voices are coming through in the music. It's not uh, easy to do. Sometimes it's a lot easier said than done. But to try to get as much out of it as I can, I have to put a lot into it. So I do view it uh, it's a very personal instrument. Not as something, well, I bought this thing, now I better learn to play it. I mean, that's like one one thousandth of one percent. It means that much to me that I do not wish to put it down. I was introduced to the guitar by a cousin of mine who played primarily by ear and by another family friend who also played by ear. This was back in the early 1950s and both of these people who I just told you about are now deceased but the, what they gave to me, the impetus to learn, that has never died. And the quest for uh, gaining more knowledge and greater abilities all the time is still with me. I still get excited every time I pick it up. Some of my earlier influences, or I should say earliest, were Chet Atkins, Merle Travis, people who played a different style of music other than just country. It was a finger-picking style which would adapt itself to many different types of music. Those were two of the earliest. But I also listened to Andres Segovia and to some of his, shall we say, more uh, well-known students, such as John Williams, Julian Bream, Alirio Diaz. I also listened to many good jazz players, such as Johnny Smith, Al Farlow, Barney Kessel, Joe Pass, Herb Ellis. Some of the, 
who I consider some of the very finest influences on the guitar today. As for lessons, and this is very true, even I'm down at Royal Music Center, Monday through Saturday, there are very few openings in my schedule. For very serious people who are interested, I try to make an exception and find a time for them. Uh, if they wish to contact me, they may do it at Royal Music Center, and the telephone number is 548 -4894. I don't have many openings, I'm usually booked, but I try and make openings for very serious students. They have to be serious, because it's a waste of my time and their money if they're not. And I just want to say this, I demand that everybody work at least three hours a day. Thank you.